this is a fairly early pregnancy uh, in a pig, um, and you can we can find discrete fetuses. I can palpate several of these and both of these uterine horns. Um, one would normally expect then there to be corpora lutea on both ovaries um, to have supported the you know the pregnancies generate the pregnancies here in these two horns but for some reason uh, this particular specimen is is a little bit odd um, if you look at the ovary on this side okay you can see that there are many healthy corpora lutea in here these big pink nodules those are corpora lutea there are also a lot of follicles and there will be follicles they'll grow throughout pregnancy that's not unusual but we've got lots of corpora lutea over here, and we assume that the fetuses over here were derived from the eggs that developed in the follicles that generated those corpora lutea. But if we look at this ovary, there aren't any corpora lutea on it. All that we see on this ovary are follicles. And in many ways, this is probably the nicest uh, view of follicles, of pig follicles, that we've had so far. Um, it is, it is. You can see multiple follicles. And I think you get a much better sense that these are fluid filled and, and thin walled. Uh, I think some of the other follicles on the ovaries that we looked at before had some blood uh, kind of in the fluid and, and uh, were tinted and uh, I think sort of misrepresented what, what follicles really look like. That's, that really is a very good view of what healthy follicles look like. Okay. Um, it's not what you would expect on an ovary from a pregnant animal, but that's what was there. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is open up the, the pregnant tract in the same way uh, we did with um, the uh, um, with the cow. Try as best I can not to penetrate the fetal membrane and see if we can't get one of these fetuses out intact. That actually worked out very nicely. So, there is a, a you know, fairly early pregnancy uh, in a pig, but if you look over that whole surface, you don't see anything that resembles cotyledons. Okay, there are no discrete patches where this. Uh, fetus was attached. If you look at the inside surface of the uterus, you don't see any discrete nodes and, you know, no, no caruncles there. And so uh, pigs do not have those structures, okay? Again, that's limited, the, the cotyledons and caruncles, that's limited to ruminant animals. So we'll only see that in cattle, sheep, and goats of our domestic species. Um, and you know, things like water buffalo, bison, of course, uh, all of the deer species uh, will also have uh, cotyledons, a little bit different kind of structure, but, but essentially the, the same basic uh, theme. When you look at this membrane system, you see that there's an outer chorioallantoic membrane but there also is a very small amnion that sits directly over the fetus. So I'm going to open up the chorioallantoic membrane and try and dissect that away without breaking the amnion. Let's see if we can do that.
Okay. So I, I hope that you can pick up that there is a, a small vesicle, a small membrane system directly around that, that fetus. Is that everybody, you know, can you get that good? Is that, is that visible? Okay. All right. And then we'll go ahead and go through. And I, I don't know, Dave, why don't you switch over to where you're shooting it straight on? Yeah, what I'm going to do next is then cut through the amnion. And take the fetus out. So there's the, the fetus. Cut the umbilicus real quickly. Get out of the way. Okay. So there's the fetus. So there's the fetus. And I'm going to pull that leg aside. And you're going to have to take my word for it. It, this is a sexable one at this stage. And what you would see in a male is there would be a white fibrous line here where the, fetus, or the penis is forming that runs up from uh, the groin area up to the umbilicus. And you don't see that in this one. So this is a female fetus, okay? We can look very quickly through these, these other fetuses, and I'll see if I can find a male, okay? There's a kind of a white line that runs up yeah. from there up to that point. Okay, right along there. I can't keep that leg from flopping over, but that white line right there uh, is the developing penis, and uh, so that is a male, okay? Very early in development, so that's about, I wouldn't want to try and, and sex any much earlier than that, okay?